Your Excellency Jevdet Ilmaz, Vice President of the Republic of Turkey, I'm glad to have you with me here, and I'm very happy with the keynote address which you have just delivered. Honorable Ministers from Turkey and Tanzania, Excellence Ambassadors, members of the Tanzanian and Turkish business community, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen good morning and marhaba. I'm happy to be here to open this Turkey Business and Investment Forum. Tanzania Turkey Business and Investment Forum. I extend my sincere gratitude to our Turkish host, the Foreign Economic Relations Board, DAIC, for their warm hospitality and for organizing this important event here in Istanbul. Tanzania and Turkey share a long history of friendship and cooperation. As such, on this visit, we are not just witnessing the growing closeness of our two nations, but the forging of meaningful partnership that will shape the future of our economies and societies. This business and investment forum provides a platform for dialogue, collaboration, and the exchange of ideas between our entrepreneurs, investors, and public officials. It is an opportunity to explore avenues for mutual beneficial partnerships and to unlock the vast potential that exists in both our countries. My duty here is to say this meeting is officially opened. However, may I beg for your indulgence to allow me to add my voice to what has been said before by my fellow Tanzanians, but I'm going to say it in a different style and voice. So, ladies and gentlemen, Tanzania is brimming with opportunities, and I'm aware that we are keen to seize on these opportunities. It is only right that I also provide a snapshot of what makes Tanzania the ideal trade and investment destination. Like Turkey, Tanzania also enjoys a strategic geographical location, as it has been said before, which makes it to be a gateway to a market of over 500 million consumers from Eastern and Southern Africa. With well-established trade routes and a network of ports including the bustling port of Dar es Salaam on the Indian Ocean. Investing in Tanzania means gaining access to a region ripe with opportunities for expanding investments and trade. Tanzania also has a critical road, rail, and port infrastructure linking to eight neighboring countries, and in addition, to our existing uh, infrastructure network, we are currently expanding our country's rail network with the construction of a standard gauge railway, which is going to be faster. Once fully completed, the SGR will link Tanzania from the port of Dar es Salaam on the Indian Ocean to neighboring countries, including Burundi and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The 2,561-kilometre SGR railway will enhance the transportation of heavy loads of up to 10,000 tons, cut down of transportation cost, and increase in trans-luggage efficiency, thus furthering facilitating trade. It is worth noting that one of the companies helping Tanzania realize this strategic project is your own homegrown company, the AP Marcus. So indeed, this is, uh, 
Indeed, this is a strategic project in many ways, not only as an infrastructure project, but also an example of how Turkish expertise and know-how is already helping transform Tanzania. Tanzania is a nation rich in natural resources, including minerals as gold, diamonds, nickel, graphite, uranium, unique gemstones of Tanzanite, which is only found in Tanzania, and many more. We are endowed with natural gas as well as abundant wildlife and arable land for agriculture. So this is our motherland, Tanzania, full of opportunities. <laughs> Above all else, Tanzania has a young, vibrant population. Of the estimated 62 million people in Tanzania, over 65% are under 30. This is a national a nation of fastest growing youth population who are eagerly ready to embrace innovation and entrepreneurship. <laughs> so by investing in Tanzania, you not only stand to benefit from the potential financial returns, but also from the opportunity to make a meaningful impact on the lives of millions of people. And thus, this is going to be your sadaka to make people be able to earn their lives. <laughs> Moreover, we do have favorable policies which culminates to conducive environment for doing business or for investment. We do have political stability and a commitment to economic growth and prosperity. Tanzania's commitment to fostering a business-friendly environment is evident in the various incentives and initiatives put forth by the government to attract foreign investment. From tax breaks to investment guarantees and streamlined procedures for, sing, uh, for setting up businesses, the Tanzanian government is actively working to ensure that investors feel recognized, respected, and being supported in their ventures. And here, we take note of the challenges which, has, which have been raised by the chair of the private sector in Turkey. It is worth noting that Tanzania's strategic position, connectivity, and connectedness to the other regions of Africa, its abundant natural resources, peace and political stability, favorable in investment and financial policies are factors that make Tanzania an ideal destination. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm aware that here in this room, we have a number of participants whose main area of interest is tourism sector. I wish to note that Tanzania's nature and cultural resources are considered among the finest tourism attractions in the world. They include the majestic Serengeti and Gorongoro World Heritage Sites, Africa's highest freestanding mountain, Mount Kilimanjaro, and the Spice Islands of Zanzibar. Other attractions include the Oduvai Gorge, the site of discoveries of the trees of earliest men, and many more. With all this, we have strong reasons to believe that we still have opportunities to, incre to increase the number of tourists visiting our country. Presently, we do have stacky stakeholders in the tourism sector in Tanzania, but still immense, opportunity, uh, immense opportunities for, the, for more investment remain. Other proposed areas of investment, I can confidently and I dare say that Tanzania's resource wealth is undeniable. 
whether your interest lies in mining, energy, agriculture, or any other sector, Tanzania offers a fertile ground for investment and growth. I therefore urge you to consider Tanzania as a prime destination for your investment capital, and together, let us embark on a journey of mutual success and prosperity. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to underscore that Turkey is a reliable partner to Tanzania. With its dynamic business community and a tradition of innovation and entrepreneurship, Tanzania believes to have much to gain in forging close economic ties with Turkey. And so, it is my belief that the discussion and partnership formed during this forum will pave the way for greater collaboration and trust in bringing about prosperity between our two countries. And at this point, I wish to cordially present to you an official invitation uh, for the Turkey's business people or business community to attend the Dar es Salaam Trade Fair which is going to be on which is going to be at the end of June to the last first week of July so you are all welcome as i conclude allow me to once again thank the organizers the ministers of foreign affairs of both the Republic of Turkey and Tanzania, the DAIC, Tanzania Private Sector Foundation, for collaboration in conducting this vital event that will serve as a catalyst for enhancing economic cooperation between our two nations. Lastly, it suffices to say that Tanzania economic transformation journey needs a global support, and so, I extend a warm welcome to you, our Turkish friends, to embark with us in this journey. At this point, it is now my singular pleasure and honor to declare that the 2024 High Level Tanzania to Care Business and Investment Forum is officially opened. I thank you for your kind attention. Asante Nisana. God bless Tanzania. God bless the Republic of Turkey. Thank you very much. Your Excellency President, thank you so much. We will unite to stay on stage for a while.